Whenever people see someone who is developing a game without the use of a modern game engine such as Unity, they may find themselves curious as to why this game dev chooses to do things the harder way when modern day game engines tend to do most of the difficult parts of game development for you. I personally have seen people asking me why I use Pygame over Godot or Unity, so hopefully this video will clear things up. This video is not to hate on game engines or anyone who uses them. I actually have a ton of respect for Unity and other game engines, but rather to explain why I currently do not primarily use these tools. This doesn't mean that I will never use these tools. There are situations where I have to or just want to to get a change of scenery but they are not what I generally use on a daily basis. A good place to start with this topic is to have a look at my intentions. A lot of people start developing games because they have this idea in their head for something that they want to turn into a full game. However, for me, this isn't exactly the case. I primarily see game development more as a way to improve my overall programming skills, and using Pygame allows me to do this more effectively than using Unity would. Let me explain. When you're using a game engine, while you may be writing code, you're mainly learning to code within the context of the game engine. For example, I am pretty knowledgeable when it comes to writing c -sharp code within the context of the Unity game engine. However, I seriously doubt my ability to write c -sharp code in any other scenario with my current knowledge. On the other hand, the extensive time I have put into making stuff with Pygame has increased my ability to use Pygame in other contexts outside of game dev. For example, networking with sockets, web development with Flask, and machine learning with TensorFlow. So obviously, this isn't going to be an issue for someone who just wants to make games. However, for someone like me who also enjoys programming outside of game development, using Pygame essentially kills two birds with one stone since I'm improving my general ability to write Python code while also getting to create games. Another point which kind of ties into this is the simple fact that I really like to code. While I also enjoy the other stuff that game dev has to it such as making pixel art, by far coding is my favorite part. So let's take a real example. So a few weeks ago I really wanted to make a multiplayer game and when presented with the options of using Photon plus Unity, which covers most of the more low-end networking code, coupled with Unity's built-in animation and collision system, or using Sockets plus Pygame, which doesn't provide much of the stuff mentioned above, I am rather going to go with the latter, since it will be more challenging to set up stuff like animations that sync over the network and player collisions which are visible to everyone. What you should ultimately take away from this is that your choice to use an engine or library has got a lot to do with your ultimate goal and what your intentions are. So the next reason may surprise you a bit because I haven't really seen it being spoken about but it's actually my hardware. So in the past, when I was using Unity, I would often have troubles with projects crashing and losing progress. I've also had issues where things load really slowly, which is honestly a little frustrating. Now, it should be noted that these issues are not always that big of an issue, and I'm willing to put up with this every once in a while, but it definitely gets frustrating when used on a daily basis. So obviously this isn't a permanent issue, and of course at some point I will be upgrading my hardware, and I will certainly make sure to try Unity whenever this happens. Anyways, I would like to close this video with a couple thoughts. Just because Unity isn't the best option for me now doesn't mean it won't be in the future. As my needs change, most likely so will the software I use. So hopefully this clears up a lot of the confusion and questions which you may have had about why I use Python and Pygame. Before we end, I need to give a massive thank you to Davis Fam and Robo Michello for the support on Patreon. If you like this video, I'm sure you'll be interested in the actual steps I took to learn to make games and you can check that video with the link on the screen now. Come join the Discord if you want to come chat with me, and I'll see you all next time.